Hi, hi. How's it going, guys? I've seen a lot of different YouTubers doing this, making lists of things you can do when you're bored at home, and considering we're all in quarantine, basically, or self-isolation, I don't know what to call it anymore, I figured, hey, I'll give you a list of things I do when I'm bored. Well, some of them I don't do, but they're things I'm hoping to do. Anyway, I have a list right here. This is my list. There are two pages. They are... I'll keep this nice and short, though, I promise. But before I get into that, I want to let you know, these are just questions of random things I thought about or things I've heard from other people that sounded like really good ideas. Or there are things I literally made up off the top of my head right now because there are things I could think about now that I didn't think of then when I wrote this list last night before I went to sleep. But before all that, I apologize for the late introduction in case you're new here. Hi, I'm Jelena Rolick. I'm an editor and a writer. I do videos and more, all sorts of things on Wednesdays. And on Sundays, I post about my week, my week and my daily life just to help you get another look at me from a different perspective. Now, I don't do video editing or anything like that. So this is just going to be bam, 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 no, no transitions, no nothing, just me reading a list and adding to it as I feel like it. So uh, without further ado, let's get to it. The first few are things about writing because I'm a writer and I think of writing things. First of all, you can write a poem. You can write a poem about how you're feeling about this isolation or you can write a poem about isolation itself without it being emotional. I promise you it will still be emotional. Um, you can start writing a novel. More specifically, you can start writing a memoir because future generations are probably not going to believe we went through this. You can write a song. You can start drawing. And if you already draw, you can start drawing more. Um, you can take online quizzes about silly things like what color your soul is, which I did yesterday. And fun fact, mine is green. So I'm wearing blue. <laughs> you can make a list of things to do when you're bored, like I did. You can make a list of your favorite things. You can make a wish list. You can make all sorts of lists, actually. I literally saw someone make a list of lists in a notebook when I was watching a video about what to do with empty notebooks, and I really liked the idea, so I started doing that. So I literally have a list of lists to make. You can start a journal. You can start using a planner, which can be a journal. Um, you can go to your doctor appointments like you should do. That means, well, I'm not going to tell you to go out constantly and stuff when you're supposed to be staying at home. Do you still do things you absolutely need to do, like seeing your doctor when you're ill, whether it be your psychiatrist or something else. You have to see your doctor regularly, then go to your doctors. I wonder what kind of truck that was. Oh well. You can get distracted by trucks outside. <laughs> um, you can start cleaning your room, which I still haven't done and keep saying I'm going to do. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, you can do some laundry. You can reorganize your bookshelf. I have one right behind my computer that I need to reorganize really badly. Um, you can take part in a care package swap. These are really fun. I don't know if anyone's doing this right now, but I would totally join in if they were. Um, I did one during NaNoWriMo, or Camp NaNoWriMo, I forget which, but we did care package swap. It had to be less than $10 of stuff, if I recall, and it was really fun seeing what people put things to give you and stuff, especially strangers, and it was just really fun, and I honestly want to do it again. You can make a PowerPoint about something. You can enter a contest related to multimedia, which I'm including writing, or etc. Writing, art, etc. If I can speak. You can make a vision board. You can leave comments on my videos to teach me how to make good ones. You can tell me your favorite smell in the comments and uh, try to describe it for me since I can't smell anything for shit. You can learn to make a new craft. You can learn a new language. You can watch me get distracted by more sounds. You can take an online course in anything, including the craft and language points I made. You can follow some new YouTubers you like. 
If I'm lucky, I might be one. You can make a phone call you've been pushing off. You can try to invent your own dance. You can shred all those papers you've been meaning to shred for the past six years that are just piled up on top of your shutter. That can't be just me, okay? I can't be the only one who does that. Uh, you can make a phone. I already said that. Uh, you can get lost on your list. You can play Pokemon Go from home. I'm guilty of doing this every day. You can look for an old gaming platform console, etc. that you have in your house and play games on it. I've been playing my old DS. I'm having a lot of fun. It's great. You can finger paint. You can arrange word magnets to make cute messages on your whiteboard or fridge. If you have them, obviously. You can cuddle a stuffed animal. You can watch a movie marathon. Popcorn is optional. Uh, you can binge watch anime. You can binge read a manga series. I have plenty of recommendations for those, so I will make those videos in the future. Um, you can start collecting cute stationery. You can take a walk. Just be careful to follow social distancing rules. You can pamper yourself with a nice hot shower or face mask, whatever you consider relaxing. I find both of those relaxing. You can make a spreadsheet about something. You can learn a cool body based trick like this. It's useless, but you can still do it. Also, it's not that cool the one I had, but I found it fun to teach myself, so I still do it. Okay, enough of that. You can make your own comic. You can keep up with the news, even if it's depressing, because keeping up with the news is still sort of important. You can make a graphics for your website, and if you don't have a website, you can start a website. You can try to learn to edit videos so you can teach me. You can start streaming stuff on YouTube, Twitch, etc. Okay, you can start being a YouTuber also. Scroll through Twitter to look for funny tweets all day. You can try mixing sodas together like you guys. So if you haven't found some, don't tell me you never did that. I'm positive everyone in the world has done that. You can learn to play a new card game. My favorite is Race Help. You can play a board game with your family you can, or friends, depending on who you're with right now. You can also play cards alone or with family or friends. You can learn a gift what I always forget if it's GIF or JIF. That is it, GIF or JIF. G-I-F. How are you supposed to say it? Uh, that's something that people find in a long time. Okay, just want to ask. I gotcha. I'll see you later. You can talk to my dad about random things. Somehow. You can figure out second uses of ordinary items that you have around your house. One example I have is uh, this little statue thing that's, or whatever you would call it, it works as a paperweight, which is what I use it for, and it's a bot. It's a little opener. Very handy. You can learn new vocabulary words to wow your friends next time you play Scrabble, or words with friends with them. I don't know who still does, but I hope people still do. As I was saying, you can lurk a gift site and download all the ones you love and would use the most. You can make it challenged by doing only anime gifts if you're like me. Um, you can have a video chat with friends. I personally use Discord for this. I've heard Zoom is great for this. I've never used Zoom. I don't know. You can play a campaign of, D and, of Dungeons and Dragons online. It's really fun. I'm already doing that, so. You can add random ingredients to a cake mix and bake it. We've learned that cranberries go great with mocha fudge. Brownies. It, it, they were amazing. You can have a cup of tea or coffee. Decaf if you have to, like me. You can try to change a bad habit. You can try to practice a good habit. Try new productivity apps on your phone. 
Choose your niche and try all sorts of apps related to it, then review them for others to see, because surely other people are in a similar niche to you. Uh, start keeping track of some of your health needs, whether it's taking your meds regularly or tracking your blood pressure like I have to. You can daydream, you can make an imaginary friend or pet, and uh, you can count how many items were on this list because I couldn't be bothered. Anyway. That's my list of things to do when you're bored at home, or I think most of them you can do at home. I know some people don't have a blood pressure cuff, but you can get them online pretty easily, I think. Anyway, that's that. That's my list. I do a lot of those things. I don't do a lot of those things. I should do more of those things than I've done. But those are just some ideas. Obviously, you can find a million more ideas just looking on YouTube. I mean, that's what inspired me to do this, was seeing a bunch of people doing it on YouTube. Don't mind me, I have a little itch. Anyway, so, without further ado, thank you for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it. I hope you'll give me a comment about what you liked in it, or your favorite smell, or anything like that. You can make it your least favorite smell for all that matters to me. Just tell me what smells are like. Because I can't experience them, I never have, and I never will, and I've come to terms with that. But as a writer, I need to be able to describe them. So you'd be doing me a huge favor. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed yourself a little bit with this. I hope I made you laugh a few times. And uh, I hope you're staying safe, staying healthy. And don't forget to smile under that face mask you have to wear when you go out. Take care, guys.